save your father's life. When do you end up losing one of your friends? You know, you just gotta, you gotta learn to let these things go. Mulan, come back. Are you afraid? What if you're coming in the battles? Are you sure? I am afraid. I'm not sure. But General Oz has taught me a lot of ancient wisdom from the East and the West. I have an army of wise men behind me to give me courage. Really? Can I meet them? Of course. Let me introduce them to you. For example, Confucius said, a wise man will never feel perplexed. A benevolent person will never worry. And a brave person fears nothing. Plato said, courage is the kind of salvation. Courage is knowing what not to fear. But Mulan, you're a girl. Your body is just not as strong as the boys. It is not the strength of the body that counts, but the strength of the spirit. It is a wild, wild west out there. And you don't even have a pistol. John Wayne said, courage is being scared to death, but saddling off anyway. Bye, I'm off to about. Thank you for listening. Wait for me. Bye, everyone. But I need a witness, Mulan, making me a legend now. Mulan, Mulan! Inaugural Address by John F. Kennedy, 1917 to 1963. In your hands, my fellow citizens, more than in mine, will rest the final success or failure of our course. Since this country was founded, each generation of Americans has been summoned to give testimony to its national loyalty. The graves of young Americans who answer the call to service surround the globe. Now the trumpet sends us again, not as a call to bear arms, the arms we need, not as a call to battle, though in battle we are, but a call to bear the burden of a long twilight struggle. Year in and year out, rejoicing in hope, patience in tribulation, a struggle against the common enemies of men. Tyranny, poverty, disease, in war itself. Can we forge against these enemies a grand and global alliance? North and South, East and West, that can assure a more fruitful life for all mankind? Will you join in that historic effort? In a long history of the world, only a few generations have been granted. The rule of defending freedom is our maximum danger. I do not shrink from this responsibility. I welcome it. I do not believe that any of us will exchange places with any other people or any other generation. The energy, the faith, the devotion which we bring to this endeavor will light our country and all who serve it. And a glow from that fire can truly light the world. And so, my fellow Americans, ask not what your country can do for you. Ask what you can do for your country. My fellow citizens of the world, ask not what America will do for you, but what together we can do for the freedom of men. Finally, whether you are citizens of America or citizens of the world, ask, ask of us the same high standards of strength and sacrifice which we ask of you. With a good conscience, our only sure reward, with history the final judge of our deeds. 